In this video, we're going to look at sketching y is equal to log of x plus 3 plus 1. So first of all, identify what type of transformation it is. This is a translation of the original curve of y equals log x by the vector minus 3 plus 1. So this is a translation by minus 3 plus 1. And so... The original y is equal to log of x curve, okay, which looks like this, will be translated minus 3, so 3 to the left, and then 1 up. So this originally has an asymptote at x is 0, the y-axis. So the asymptote will also move 3 places to the left. And so there is an asymptote now at x is equal to minus 3. Okay? Now, that means that the curve will increase upwards and then like so. It would look like that. So there are two points that we really want to find. Where it's crossing the x-axis and where it's crossing the y-axis. Now, where it crosses the y-axis is when x is 0. So when x is 0, y is equal to log of 0 plus 3, so 3 plus 1. So log of 3 plus 1. Okay? And then, if you want to find out that point, that's when y is 0. So 0 is equal to log of x plus 3 plus 1. So we've got minus 1 is log of x plus 3. E both sides. And then take 3 from both sides. Okay, so that's e to the minus 1, minus 3. And then you can work those out on your calculator uh, to get decimal equivalents if you like. Now what I also want to look at is the domain and range of this function. So, following on from the previous video, if I'm considering the domain, then that's all the values of x that this graph exists for. So I can see that the curve does not exist to the left of that asymptote. It only exists to the right of it. And so the domain is x is greater than minus 3. Okay? So it only exists to the right of that line. And it's not greater than or equal to, it is strictly greater than, because it will never hit that line. The range, in this case, because the curve can go all the way down to infinity here, and then it keeps on increasing, okay? The log curve, it does keep increasing. It doesn't plateau or go back down again. Um, it just increases slower and slower and slower, okay? So the range, it can take any value of y, and so we can say y belongs to the real numbers. And that would be the range for this function.